So in today's Ashiga Island video, I wanted to go over something that I have yet to go over since Warzone 2 came out. A lot of you guys have been asking for this and it's been one of the top comments in a lot of recent videos that I've made. And that is going over my controller settings that I use in Warzone 2. I don't want to make this intro too long. So I'm just going to start going over all the settings that I use. And I'll give some reasons as to why I use some of the settings that may be a little bit different than most people's. Some of the first four, they're pretty basic. Obviously the button layout's default. Bumper ping is off. Stick layout is default as well. Control elevation is off. For my sensitivity, I use eight and eight for both horizontal and vertical sensitivity i think i had six six or seven seven in warzone one but since warzone two is a little bit slower of a game i decided to raise the sensitivity up a little bit radius sensitivity multiplier is at 0. 0.7 and here's all my presets for all the other things in the uh, multiplier category obviously my aim down sight behavior is hold change zoom shared input is sprint tactical sprint and focus automatic sprint is off because i'm still not really a huge fan of it when i have pistols or shotguns equipment behavior is hold weapon mount is ads plus melee interact reload behavior is prioritized interact which is basically contextual tap for more than one and lastly in this category is armor play behavior i still actually use apply one the biggest reasons why i still use apply one is because i'm used to it and there's those rare instances where an enemy will push you and they'll break all of your plates causing you to have to plate up and when you have apply one on you have to hold y or triangle the entire time while plating up and then you let go of it when you stop plating up when you have apply all on you hold y or triangle for a little bit and it starts putting on all of your plates but if somebody pushes you while those plates are going on and you have to press Y or triangle again very quickly to cancel the plate animation so you can get into the gunfight. And with apply one on, all you have to do is let go of Y and put your thumb back on the stick. I know this is a very minuscule thing, but that's the reason I use apply one. For my advanced controller settings, a lot of this stuff is default, so I'm gonna go over it very quickly. Target aim assist is on, of course. Aim assist type is actually default. I tried black ops, I didn't really like it that much. ADS aim assist is on. Third person ADS correction type is on assist. Aim response curve type is on dynamic, just like Warzone 1. ADS multiplier focus is 1.0 or maximum. ADS sensitivity transition chime is on instant custom sensitivity for zoom is on and these are all of my custom settings for zooms keep in mind i don't really snipe that much so i haven't really finally tuned these things these are all the dead zones that i use for my controller my controller does have slight stick drift so this is why i have it the way i do i'm gonna be honest i have no idea what the setting is for gyro aiming all this stuff is off because i don't really use that nor do i think xbox controllers have that capability basically everything in the gyro category is off for me moving to behaviors i have sprint tactical sprint behavior on toggle auto move forward is off for the same reason auto sprint is off as well because of the pistols and shotguns Guns. Tactical sprint behavior is on single tap sprint, so you don't have to double tap it every time you want to attack sprint. Ground and mantle is on. Automatic airborne mantle is partial. Automatic ground mantle is off. Invert slide and dive behavior is standard. Plunging underwater is on the movement setting. Parachute auto deploy is off because you want to hit the ground as quickly as possible. Sprinting door bash is on. I don't know why anybody would want this off. Ledge hang mantle behavior is mantle only. ADS stick swap is off, of course. Backpack alternate control is off. Weapon mount movement exit is on. Weapon mount exit delay is medium. Depleted ammo weapon switch is on quick c4 detonation is off for vehicle behaviors all this stuff is on default for overlay behavior all this stuff is on default as well i do want to throw in my audio settings really quick i do use home theater which i've been told is the best and i also have the audio equalization thing that you can enable on pc as well and basically everything else in the audio settings that you guys are seeing right now is stuff that i have set because of the way i stream and the way i make videos the only thing that really matters in the audio settings if you're just like a casual player or somebody that doesn't really make content is mainly just the home theater and the audio mix and that basically sums up all of my settings in warzone 2 it was kind of a longer intro i do apologize for that but the gameplay is a gameplay that i got the other day with the m4 and also the x13 auto pistols and with that being said hope you guys do enjoy the gameplay and as always thank you guys for watching the video no. There should be an option for the viewer to watch an ad to support the streamer. It would get abused. That would be cool, but it would get abused. People, people would like bought it and just farm money. How much would it be if you ran one right now? Uh, like 40 cents, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> hey, hey guys, this is solos. You know this, right? Really? You tell me I have to leave my roof to thirst this good? Man. Dude got down in the middle of the mantle animation. Bamboozled. We're detecting vulnerability 
scan the enemy's network. Locate their uplink stations and secure their intel before they go offline. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. You weren't supposed to start looking at me, dude. You're supposed to keep shooting this kid. Enemy dropping into the AO. I'm just confused, guys. I'm turning around. Threw a fucking knife at me, bro. Who threw a knife at me? The kid all the way in the cliff, I think, hit me with that knife. The one that's triggering the high alert. I'm pretty sure uh, he hit me with that knife. All the way from the cliff over there. Kind of nutty. That's what you get for killing me, you little Timmy. Little Timmy. That's what you get for killing me. player in the world fuck now obviously ninja who are you Or literally directly impacted him with a cluster mine and it didn't kill him <laughs> we, we do not get kills with those things man one of them came out of the cluster mine and hit him and then exploded and it still we still didn't get the kill mind numbing mind blowing we're alive though and that's all that matters right Pistols are ridiculous. Yeah, they're pretty good. They just have zero range. You have to get very, very close. They are pretty good. People have been here the whole game. It's weird. Hostile dropping into the area. La 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 UAV is being a fuel. RTB at this time. Recon has been deactivated. This is the end. 
Copy. No, ping. Why is Barry so beautiful today? Ah, uh, Vagerdox. I could say the same thing about you. You handsome. Who the fuck keeps looking at me, bro? Oh, I see him. Well, I'm trying to get a self, but I think the buy station is visible by him. Obviously, kind of good. Requesting recon flyover. Copy. UAV orbiting the AO. Recon is online. How's it going? Be advised, UAV is exiting the AO. Well, I mean, if we lose this, we're terrible. Don't mind me, just nonchalantly missing all of the important shots. God, I'm terrible. I don't know what this kid's doing. He never got out. Oh, he got out way over there. Ooh. Wait, 20? Show 21, no?